Hey, what's going on everybody live on YouTube? How's everybody doing? Looks like I've been live for like five seconds, so I apologize if there was a little bit of a delay. Welcome into everybody. Got the chat up, I can see everything, so hopefully this works. Um, again, we, uh, we got the live chat going on with the, uh, with the, uh, the rolling chat over here that you guys will be able to see at a later time if you're watching this on the, um, on the uh, replay. Um, hopefully it doesn't cut it off. It doesn't leave me a lot of room. I'm gonna figure out how to move the chat um, over to the other side so that I can move myself this way and the chat over there. Right now it's not really working, but uh, I'll figure that out tomorrow. That way from now on I can do it. One thing at a time, we got the live chat in, so that's, uh, that's, a, uh, that's a start. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome in. Give everybody a few minutes as I usually do, so if you're watching this on the replay, you can just skip ahead. I understand. Um, list, 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 Thomas. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, buddy. Terry's here. She's our moderator for the night. Say hi to her. She's like our Vanna White. <laughs> Joanne's Closet, how you doing? How's everybody doing? Hi, Thomas. I'm trying to watch this new chat because it's a different window, so it's kind of hard for me to uh, pay attention to the chat and to that, but I got it rocking. Jeff Holstead, how you doing? Halstead, I'm sorry. Um, Dr. Kim in the house, like having a doctor, somebody with a lot more education than I have. <laughs> yeah, Terry, smiling. Listen, you guys might see some things from me on a occasional basis that get me uh, a little wound up, but I move on from stuff pretty quick. What a day, huh? What a day. Everything's taken care of. And, um, you know, ooh, everything looks good. Everything's bright. And we're going to talk about something awesome tonight. We're going to talk about uh, social media. Everybody's been asking me. You guys had a lot of great questions about social media and about whether or not, you know, I use it to do sales and whether or not you should be doing it to do sales or to help sales for that matter. So, um, Drea, how you doing? A lot of great people, a lot of familiar faces, and a lot of people... Uh, here in the uh, in the chat that I see all the time, so thank you for being here. Appreciate it, and uh, appreciate everyone who's uh, stuck around even after today's little bumps in the road. No, nothing we can't handle, though. Nothing we can't handle. So uh, hopefully everybody's had a good start to the week. Let's talk about what everybody asked me the biggest um, question. And well, Terry's question is, "Where's the wrecking crew?" They are in the living room where they typically are. Um, otherwise they come in here and they cause problems and bark and do all that stuff. Um, but, uh, we're going to talk about like Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and whether I use it to help eBay sales and whether you should use it to help your eBay sales, which I think is all great questions. Um, yeah, Amazon seller. I like where we see the, uh, see the chat as well. It's awesome. And, uh, and I like, uh, I like all the new names here. The new guy, Anthony Reyna, how you doing? Toodles and Boondoggle, both in here. Boondoggle's got some good YouTube videos you can check out. Christina over in Orlando, how you doing? Welcome into everybody that's just rolling into the chat a little late, but I'm, I'm a little, a little late too tonight. Don't worry. Um, James, you didn't miss anything. Don't worry. Nothing to miss today. So the three things I want to talk about um, social media wise is using Facebook and there's two ways that you can do that. Some people do it just through networking and through a Facebook page. Um, and then some people do it through like a Facebook group, which you guys know most of you are a member of the Facebook group. If you're not right on cue, Terry, just, just, um, just linked it over there. Um, Matt, I'm going to answer that question. Uh, and then um, Lockley, how you doing? TD Paul, how you doing? And James, welcome in everybody. Um, we're going to talk about Instagram, which is like one of the biggest uh, social media platforms that you can use to try to drive traffic. And then um, the third one we're going to talk about is like through the advertising, through like um, running ads, maybe on Facebook Direct or Instagram. Some people do it through Twitter. There's a couple different ways you can run ads. So... Uh, we're going to talk about those as well. Um, let's start with the obvious one, which is um, which is Facebook um, and how you can use Facebook to try to drive sales on eBay and how to network and build up a following. Um, so basically, number one is through the Facebook group. Like I have a group. So if you can build a following of similar people, like, um, you know, and let's just say we're not really... A, a reselling group, let's say we're a group of crafters or a group of video game collectors 
And that's what you buy and sell. Obviously, having a group of like-minded people, you get two, three, four, five, ten thousand people, and then you promote your store by shooting out a link. Now, you kind of want to make it so it's not spammy. So you don't want to just go, hey, I got a phone for sale. Hey, I got a game for sale. Hey, I got this for sale. You kind of want to say, hey, check out this amazing video game I found today. It's so rare. It's awesome. I'm going to play it, and when I'm done, it'll be for sale. Check it out, you know, or I just finished, and it's up for sale right now if anybody would be interested in it. So um, that would be uh, one way that you could do it inside of the group. Or you could, you know, ask everybody to post their best find or their best item for sale. In our group today, we had a um, post an item under $10 that you currently have for sale. So everybody gets to promote their store. You get to share ideas. You bring new members in. You bring collectors in. You bring buyers in, other sellers. You never know um, who might come in a group and actually go to your eBay store and buy something. Now, obviously, the bigger the group... Um, the more likely that you'll uh, have success bringing people to your store. And yeah, I will take, um, I'll take questions, but um, at the end, let's go towards, uh, towards the 10 o'clock hour, we'll take questions. So that's one way that a Facebook group can really um, bring you in customers to your store. Another way to bring customers in via uh, Facebook is if you create an actual Facebook business page. For those of you that have one or know what it is, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, Go to Facebook and create a business page. You can do a small business or a brand or a store, whatever it is that you have. And um, Terry, thank you. I am awesome. And then you can um, you can uh, invite people to like that Facebook page. I had to think of the word like. Like hasn't been on my mind too much today. <laughs> um, but like that Facebook page. Send it out to everyone. You can have people share your page. And if they like it, underneath of your profile, you can link your eBay store, and so that will bring traffic in as well. These are things, my, my Facebook page, I don't use all that often because I use the group, so I do it in the group more often than I do it on the page, but you can do it both ways. Um, Facebook also allows you to advertise. You guys have seen uh, the advertisements that pop up and say sponsored ads, um, and people are paying you know anywhere from a couple dollars a day on up to 50 or or $100 a day to advertise you know, merchandise, maybe somebody, you know, sometimes, uh, I saw, um, I think, uh, was it Jay Wow from, uh, Jersey Shore kept popping up on my feed for some reason as a sponsored ad. I don't even watch that show, but, um, she was doing like some milkshake thing. And, uh, that company was paying for her as an ad and a spokesperson, um, to, uh, keep appearing on people's Facebook pages and they were spending thousands of dollars a day because it was appearing on Kate's and mine and lots of people I know and uh, so you would always see that milkshake over and over and over again. Terry just sent over a $10 super chat. Terry, Terry stop it. Stop doing that. I appreciate it, Terry. Thank you, but uh, you don't have to do that. Remind me. She, she's buttering me up for like lunch or something. I don't know which, but she is. <laughs> it's up there. That's the yellow super chat. That's so you see that big giant yellow um, banner that Terry just sent over. Buy yourself a drink and keep smiling. Well, I'll keep smiling and get a drink right here. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll have to donate Terry a commission on her uh, on her donations. <laughs> that's awesome, Amazon seller. Oh, that's so funny. Um, yeah, so I don't um, I don't know how well Facebook ads would work for this. I have done them in the past. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done some. I didn't really do them for uh, my eBay store. I did them for other things for like advertising that I buy electronics or buy clothes. Um, but I may try them in the future. I'm not sure. But uh, you can set your um, you can set your ad revenue or your ad cost to where you charge like you can spend like three dollars or five dollars or ten dollars. Same thing on Instagram. Instagram allows you to run ads as well for a couple dollars a day all the way up to like as much as you feel like spending to get in front of people. So if you wanted to advertise your store using social media, you could pay for those ads. Of course, doing a group or a page is free, but paying for the ads is going to guarantee that you get in front of some people. So um, Megan here in the house. Hey, Megan, how you doing? Chef Honey Rob asked me when I was going, going live and then he's late. That's going to cost you one meal, buddy. For those of you that don't know, Rob's the best chef in the chat room, I promise you. Um, Christy, how you doing? Welcome to everybody that came in late. You can watch the replay a little later and read the chat a little later, which is cool. Um, so those are two ways, three ways that you can use Facebook to advertise. Um, if we move over to Instagram, you can do the same thing. Instagram's a little different. So what I would do is I would put, and I have it right now. A lot of you guys follow me on Instagram, so you probably already know this. 
but um, let me uh, let me just pull it up. So if you're on Instagram and you want to uh, advertise, Instagram gives you one uh, website, one web link that you can use, and I'm gonna hold it up there for you guys. There's my Instagram, and uh, basically that link right there on the bottom is your link, and so you can whoop. So then you can put your eBay store link in there and then you will be able to send people to your eBay store and you can advertise that to your followers. The bigger the followers, um, you know, the more people will potentially go check out your store using lots of hashtags to, you know, have people find you so that then they can then see your link, see your store, go to your eBay store and potentially become a customer. All things you need to do um, to try to drive traffic using social media. So the question that I think um, a lot of people ask is, is it successful? Does it work? And I think the answer is yes, but it's not going to work overnight. You're not going to just jump on Instagram with 100 followers. You're not going to jump on Instagram with you know 500 followers or even 1,000 followers. You're not going to jump on Facebook with 100 likes and you know turn those customers into buying customers. Think about how many people view your eBay items. I don't know how many impressions you guys get a month. I, I can't even tell you. I mean, I would have to look at mine. Uh, I haven't looked at that stat in a while. But you can go to your eBay and go to your main uh, your main screen, your My eBay, and go down to your performance, I believe it's under. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I think it's under performance. And it will show you how many impressions you get and how many views you're getting to your eBay store every month. So when you start doing these advertising tests, whether it's running ads or whether you're creating a group, you can go back and look at how much traffic is increased. Yeah, just go to your performance um, tab. And this looks like for the last month, I have 3.6 million impressions on my eBay store. So you can check that and see if you're getting more views. But remember, think about out of 3.6 million impressions, how much I did in sales. So it takes a big, big following. I have 7,500 Instagram followers, and I'll bet I only get a couple sales a month out of those on eBay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys buy a lot of stuff from me on um, on Instagram, and I don't know about it. But uh, anyways, that's kind of how it works. Um, and what the hashtags are for is is a really great question on um, on um, on social media, like especially Instagram. Like if you hashtag the word eBay seller and people are looking for other eBay sellers, or you hashtag the word you know, anthropology, people might be looking for that brand and looking for cute stuff. All of a sudden they find you because you use the hashtag and then they see your eBay store, they go to your eBay store. If you have 20 pieces of anthropology, it's a pretty good chance they may go there and buy something. So that's kind of how it all ties together. The idea is just to get eyes in front of you to the link to your store. So you need to bring them to your Facebook page, bring them to your Instagram page, and then link your store that way you can send them to it. And you can drop hints. The best part is don't be spammy about it. Don't just say, go to my store, go to my store. Kind of do it coyly and you know under the radar. Like, hey, oh my God, I found this awesome mannequin today and you guys should check it out. It's working great on all my new items. I've taken all my new listings and taken pictures with it. And that'll get a way to get them to view your items and hopefully purchase them. Now you can't count on everyone gonna actually buy something, but they might. Um, and as far as the ads, people asking if I spent money on the ads, not completely yet. I have in the past. I may start doing it more in the future. I'll kind of want to test the waters a little bit. It is cheap. You can do it for two bucks a day and spend $60 for the whole month. So it's not an expense that's you know too, too high if you want to run ads. But I would suggest having a fairly good size following before you go the ad route. Build, build your following organically and naturally to start with. That's my recommendation. Anyways, um... And yeah, so had a big day, wore my Rockstar Flipper shirt to the pharmacy. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Uh, I think I saw somewhere Joe, Joe the Breadman came in the chat. What's up, Joe? And I saw that Thomas said 40 days to our meetup. Indeed it is. Makes it seem uh, so much closer than it is. Uh, this makes much more sense now. I was never a big social media guy. Yeah, social media is a huge, huge way to advertise, and you can do it for free. I mean, social media is so big. Um how many page views do I have in the last 30 days on eBay? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, what's that under traffic? Hold on, let me look at traffic. Give me a second. Uh, page views was, uh, is that 30 days? I guess that's 30 days was uh, 45,000. Um, so it looks like I got 45,000 page views on eBay. That's 15,000 a day. 15,000 views a day that I got 
um, on eBay. Yes, we are ordering more Rockstar Flipper t-shirts. If you didn't get your order in, it's rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I think I sent invoices to everyone. If I didn't, they will go out tonight. Uh, please email me at rockstarflipper at gmail.com with your size, color, and your PayPal email if you want an invoice to buy one. Uh, the order was supposed to go yesterday. Um, I've kind of delayed it back a few days because I was behind and because I know more people wanted them. So feel free to uh, to do that. I'll put it in the chat. It is rockstarflipper at gmail.com. Size, color, and your PayPal email for shirt orders. And they are $20 free shipping. 2XL and bigger is going to be uh, $22. So, yeah, the, it's a big time investment to do social media. Absolutely right. But once you build the following, it should organically create you um, sales on its own. Like, I only have 7,500 Instagram followers. I never used Instagram until the last couple of weeks. Um, and then um, uh, Facebook group, we have like 27,000, so that's a big help. And I don't really promote... Um, the Facebook group with my eBay store too often. I usually just do it for YouTube, but sometimes I'll put the eBay store in there, especially if people ask, I will. I trust all you guys um, for the uh, for the store in the, in the group. Lindy in the chat. Uh, yeah, they're in gray and pink, the shirts are. Yeah, you can see the, see the video in the chat. It's awesome, I love it. Makes me happy. Yeah, put out good content, relevant content on social media. Really great point that uh, Kylie Lee had. Put out great content, and you will, uh, you'll bring in followers naturally. People will just want to follow you. There are people with 20, 30, 40,000 thrifting followers. So all a good, uh, a good um, way to bring followers, and that's how you're going to get sales. you got to have you know, people coming in from good keywords, people coming in from good photos, people coming in from social media, uh, maybe people coming in from ads. It all adds up, and eventually it will you know, your time and money investment will be way outweighed by the amount of sales that you make. So you have to put that time and dedication in. If you're sitting up in bed watching Netflix or doing whatever you're doing, sit on Instagram and post a few things. Comment on people's stuff. Follow people. Spend 20 minutes doing it a night and see the difference that it makes. Trust me, you'll see the difference. Lindy's a rock star. <laughs> um, Southern Thrifter, what's the name of the group? I can't go through the link. The link should work. Um, it's eBay, Amazon, reseller thrifter world i think or flip that thrifter e reseller world if it doesn't work send me a private message and i'll figure out if you're blocked or not um oh terry roasted me with great content of course <laughs> um diane has dreams instagram can be a little overwhelming confusing when you start but once you get the hang out hang of it bleh. Hang of it, Instagram's pretty easy. It took me a few months to get the hang of it, and now I've been rolling along with it. I went from like 3,000 to 7,500 followers in the last like two months, so that's been pretty cool. Um, yeah, TD Paul's got a great point. Um, keeping up on uh, a Facebook page for your business is a really great idea. I use it. Um, yeah, a couple of you guys have been modeling the shirts. Uh, Terry did, Thomas did. So if you did get a shirt, I appreciate it. Send me the photos, please. Um, I have a personal Instagram and a business Instagram. I have a personal Facebook and I have a business Facebook page. So I kind of keep them separated. Although a lot of you guys are my friends on the personal one, which is okay too. That's fine. Deborah, Deborah in the house, Miss Debbie Deals. Kate Kirby is here, of course. Diana has dreams. Yep, yeah, so a lot of people there. I really appreciate everyone who's here, everybody that jumped in here. And again, if you came in late to the, uh, to the live chat, to the video, we now have the live chat window right there. It's awesome. Watch it later. I'm working on shifting it over there so that my face can move that way. Everything's in reverse. I can move that way in the chat. The chat can go over there. But we'll make that work for next time. Anyways, um... So hopefully this clears up social media. Your biggest one is Instagram. Make sure you use hashtags. Follow people in the thrifting world. Instagram gives you suggestions of people to follow. Once you build a following, consider doing like a two or three dollar a day ads. Um, put your store name, your link to your store name and your Instagram profile. Let people know that it's there. Show them your cool items. Screenshot some of the items you have for sale or some of the items that you've already sold so they get a, hey, that person sells cool stuff and they go look at it. So... Um, anyway, so Lindy's here. Uh, 
Going to do uh, forgot my password to Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that won't work. You got to have the name, the password to Facebook for sure. Um, nope, Lindy is working. Yeah, doing more work than I am right now. I got to get back to working uh, a little bit. I'm going to hang out with you guys for a little while. But uh, since this was kind of an impromptu, I'll take a few questions if you have them about social media. I kind of want to keep this Q&A little question answer section to uh, social media because that's what everybody's going to come watch the video for. Um, Thursday, we can do a normal Q&A about open AMA, ask me anything. But if you got social media questions about Instagram or Twitter or Facebook here, I'll answer them. Um, just chuck them over there in the chat and I'll take a look. The Deborah, uh, Deborah says the chat is awesome. I love it. Terry laying down with a heating pad. Sometimes I do that too. Uh, Zyad, would I make the Instagram name the same as the eBay name? That's a great question. Um, I think if you can get all of them to be the same, that's pretty cool. Fluence, uh, you know, consistency and fluency is pretty important. So if you can do that, by all means, do that. Um, I'm not going to add, you know, advocate against that. Mine are not the same. Um, I should change my eBay name to Rockstar Flipper. I should. I don't know. I don't really care about it. The eBay store name to me, it's more important what's in my store than what my name is. But it, it could help, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Pinterest seems to come up. That's a great question. Pinky Bling Thrifts has a great question. Is Pinterest a good place to advertise market? Pinterest seems to come up high in, um, in a lot of uh, searches and Google searches. So I would imagine indexing Pinterest things, especially if you're selling craft items or decorative items, I would imagine that that's a pretty good site to use. And if you uh, post to Pinterest pretty regularly, that's probably not bad either. Um, Boondoggle Bliss. I am using OBS. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the new software I'm using is called OBS. It's Open Broadcaster. It allows me to put this chat up in the thing. Um, it is on a 15 second delay. I think it's 16 seconds actually, uh, as opposed to Google Hangouts, which is only like a half a second delay. Um, but this, uh, this software is amazing. I love OBS more than I love Google Hangouts, but it is a delay. There's no way to get rid of it. How do you link individual items for sale on Instagram? You can't unless you want to put that link to that item up in your profile. I recommend doing your store rather than individual items and then just posting the individual item or the store name in your profile and taking a picture of the individual item and telling people to go to your store at the top. That's my best thing. Sine Chang, $8 super chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the super chat. Thank you for being here and watching the channel. Thank you for being in the chat. If you have any questions, please let me know. That little green line that you just saw there from uh, Sine Chang is a super chat available on Android and desktop. I uh, don't think it's available on iPhone yet, but it's just below the chat window uh, with the little dollar sign. So thank you, Sine. I really appreciate that. That means a lot. Um, see other questions that I, uh, I saw come through here. Um... The like button on Instagram doesn't exist. It's a heart. So you have to love everything on Instagram. You can't like it. You have to love it. Um, uh, do I use Instagram to directly sell products? I have not. Uh, I think one person ever has messaged me and said they wanted to buy something right away and I did the transaction. So I should. It's a good, it's a good thing to do because you save eBay fees. Um, but just don't let it be obvious that you're doing it. I think Instagram is the biggest, uh, the biggest uh, helper as well. Um, Funknatic, you can certainly uh, type in your eBay name and somebody can take a look if you need help with something. Uh, it's also a good, uh, a good, um, good place to do it is in the Facebook group. Um, yeah, I would separate, Iris, great question. I would separate Instagram personal and business if you want to use one for business and one for personal. Uh, that way you don't get it cluttered up. Uh, Kate says that Super Chat's available on iOS. Did they just update that, Kate? I don't know if they did or not. It wasn't available last time I was in somebody's chat. Uh, Robin down in Sarasota. Thomas is uh, here in Tampa. And uh, Joe, the bread man, is down by you if he's still in the, uh, the chat. Joe, Robin there is your uh, fellow seller from Sarasota. Um, yeah, Deborah is down that way as well. Uh, Rhino, LA, how about Twitter? Uh, Twitter's not as widely used, but a lot of people do look at Twitter for things. What I do, and what's a great feature, I'm glad you brought this up, is when you post something on Instagram, I'm probably not going to be able to show it to you right now. Um, yeah, I could probably show it to you right now. 
So let's say that I wanted to post this post to Instagram. And I come over here, and I'm about to post it, where you type your description up here. Down there, you can auto post it to where you don't have to log into Twitter. You can just check that little box, and it will automatically go up on Twitter. Now, whatever I type in the box is going to appear on Twitter. You will lose the links and the hashtags, I believe. I don't know. Um, but I just post it on Twitter, and it gets a lot of traffic. I don't have many followers so on Twitter, and I don't use it. It probably doesn't amount to much. But because it's just one click of the button, why not do it? So, yeah. I do do it. I do use Twitter a little bit. Ruggers Customs in the house. How you doing? Um, the Facebook group, as Terry's been, uh, been posting there. Minnesota. Kate is in Minnesota. Lots of you guys are in Minnesota, which is awesome. I appreciate you guys all being here. Yeah, if you can get people to share your Twitter post, that will work as well. Yeah, Twitter is, is, from what I understand, Twitter can be helpful, but you really have to build a following, and you really have to get people to share it. It's like anything else, but, uh, you know, Twitter's just not as big as Instagram. The hashtag game on Instagram is huge. It's really big, guys. So make sure you're using that. Um... Yeah, make sure when the video is over, go to the, the Facebook group and post any questions you have, and we'll take a look at it. Um, Jonathan Montgomery, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you guys being in the chat. Uh, which social media platform has given you the most problems? Toodles. Uh, I don't get any problems out of uh, social media. Social media is pretty good. It's, pretty, it's always been good for me. Um, Iris, my only Twitter follower. Iris, you are my most active Twitter follower. Yeah, Robin, the bread man, lives down near you. He lives in the Bradenton area, so uh, definitely keep in touch with him. PMs from me on Facebook, I will take a look at after the uh, video. Thank you for those. Yeah, hashtags are super important. Everybody asking about hashtags. Without hashtags, Instagram is pretty worthless because people search for stuff by those hashtags. They really, really do, and you will pull in a lot more followers and a bigger audience without it. Deborah saying hi to Kate. Kate Deborah says hi. Lady that we met at the uh, car show at Festival of Speed. I've got somebody calling my phone from Tampa over and over again. They've called me like four times in a row. It's pretty weird. Lindy's relisting auctions, so she's not paying attention to us. No problem, Lindy. Any other questions over there in the uh, in the um, social media world? I'll be happy to answer. And then uh, the advice about relisting works. Of course, it does. We research that. Um, I'm gonna get off uh, of the chat. And uh, Jet MD, I just saw you in the chat. By the way, I missed you. Sorry, bud. Um, I'm gonna get off a little bit. We've been on like a half an hour. This was just a. Uh, just a little impromptu. Um, Relic Picker, embarrassed to say you don't get hashtags. Nike boxes, good night. Um, so what? let me explain hashtags the best I can. So what a hashtag is, is just a keyword. It's a tag. And so if you put hashtag Burberry, anybody that looks up the keyword Burberry is going to find any post that somebody has used the word Burberry. In. If you put hashtag Mountain Dew, they're going to find any posts that you have that anybody has put with the hashtag mountain dew and as those posts grow more and more they're going to go down and down and down in search ranking so your post says mountain dew somebody searches a minute later bang there you are at the top with a post of your can of mountain dew all of a sudden it goes down and down and down and down as more people post pictures of mountain dew so if you post a picture saying hashtag ebay seller and people look for other ebay sellers they're going to find you and then it goes down and down and down and down and down to your way down the search ranking so you have to be consistent so you keep posts up near the top that way you can pull people in and they will follow you and that's how hashtags work basically um categories in ebay oh super chat on ios uh ariel lucido welcome into the chat uh looking to scroll up the chat here um, do I have a Snapchat, Casey? I do. I've never used it. I think Kate snapped once for me. Uh, 
Hashtag Rockstar Flipper. Exactly. If you use the hashtag Rockstar Flipper, you will see all of the posts that I put. That way, if anybody wants to see all of my posts at once, they can quickly search Rockstar Flipper and it will be all of my posts or any posts that anybody else puts up about me, which is scary sometimes after today. Um, eBay followers, the same way. Um, not Dave calling me. Southern Thrifter, got it. Thanks. You're awesome. Those are some hashtags. They'll probably show up high in the rankings too. Yeah, trending hashtags is really good. You're going to hashtag me in every post. Yeah, if people hashtag, if you can get people to use your name as a hashtag or share your stuff, it really, really helps. No, I talked to Dave for like two minutes before I came on live. I don't think it's him spamming my, I don't know who it is. I don't recognize the numbers, not even from like a while ago. I get random calls all the time. It happens. I typically get calls from out of state, from like California and Texas and Jersey, trying to either sell me business insurance, trying to lend my business money, or trying to tell me I want a gift card at Walmart. One of the three, almost always. Or selling me Google, uh, Google um, search ranking, uh, SEO, uh, I guess, help. I don't know. Um, yes, hashtag I8. Uh, is a very popular hashtag. It'll come up with some crazy things. Some of my posts come up in that. Hashtag BMW I8, hashtag I8. Uh, thick skin. Uh, I try to have some tough skin. It's it's hard sometimes. People, you know, if you see one or two, a lot of people can ignore it pretty quickly. But when you see a lot of it, it gets harder. It's, it's not easy, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I am not in the mood for Oreo cookies tonight. <laughs> hashtag uh, safe space. Oh, you guys all got jokes. Zayad, good night. Um, today I should have used, uh, hashtag, um, please help, help me, send for help, SOS. Those would have all been great hashtags today. <laughs> but thanks for the jokes, you guys. I really appreciate it. The chat is on, on fire tonight. The chat is, uh, is being very friendly tonight. I appreciate all of you. <laughs> uh, big props to Kate Kirby, who got, uh, our buddy Oreo to, uh, take down all the videos. Um, at least all but like one of them or two of them. Anyways, um, the payday loans all the time. No, they don't call me for payday loans. They call me and they're like, hey, does your business need to borrow $500,000? I'm like, absolutely, send it on over. And they're like, well, well, wait a minute. There's some strings attached. I'm like, oh, there are? Well, I just got uninterested. Sorry, guys. <laughs> hashtag Jack and Coke. Yeah, don't use spaces in your hashtags either. Put them all together. Um, anyways, so hashtag fitness works, um, hashtag fitness in my mouth works typically when we're eating. <laughs> uh, Paul DeLeo, I do have a Google voice number that forwards through my real legitimate, honest to God number that you find by Googling, you will not find by Googling. If you find a number for me by Googling, uh, it may forward to me, but it is not my phone number. I promise you there are very few people that could find my real phone number. Absolutely not. Um, anyways, abandoned mind chest. You guys got, see, you guys got the hang of the, uh, the, uh, hashtag game. Matt Cruz, no, no Bitcoin. I did get roasted. I did. <laughs> Drea missed out on the drama. Yeah, you did. Don't worry about it. Just be glad that you did miss out on it. I promise you. Toodles, thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> don't steal my car. Hashtag don't steal my card at Goodwill. I should have done that. Deborah, he won't give me a deal. Reagan won't give me a deal on those. <laughs> Lindy had a great video today. Lindy's video is killing it today. If you didn't see her video about uh, resellers being ashamed, go check it out. Um, she's a moderator. She could probably link her YouTube channel uh, or that video, at least that video link. Um, it was a good video. I watched it. I commented on it. Uh, it's true. We hear it a lot. She's just talking about um, people say we should be ashamed of ourselves for buying from Goodwill that's supposed to go to poor people or that we're taking advantage of situations by charging more money for items that... Uh, you know, otherwise shouldn't be that much, you know, for example, if my Walmart sells cheesecake cookies and your Walmart in Texas doesn't, and you can't get them, you go on eBay and the cheesecake cookies are 10 bucks, but I charge 20 and cause you can't get them, you buy them. Is that wrong? I don't think it is. I think it's supply and demand. It's the same with Hatchimals or any other thing that blows up like that supply and demand. It's U S American worldwide, global, uh, capitalism at its best. So you check that video out. 
Uh, oh God, these hashtags, you guys are blowing it up. And you know what the best part is? All the hashtags you guys are putting in here are stuck forever because they're in the chat that's on the video. So you guys forgot about the chat being here forever. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy about that. Um, anyways, guys, I'll let you get back to work. Here it is. There's the link. She just put it down in there. Um, Hudson555, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, appreciate everyone that, uh, that's been here, that's commented, that's watched the video. Thank you for stopping in on Tuesday night. Thank you for spending a little time with us. Uh, Terry has uh, linked the Facebook group. Lindy linked her video. Um, of course, if you want to check me out on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or any of that, it's down below, below my box. Just scroll down a little bit, hit the more button, and you will see that drop down description box. Um, it has a link to my eBay store. If you do want to buy something from me, I won't tell you no. Thank you very much. It also has um, links to all my Amazon products that I use. If you need to buy a scale or a lighting kit or a game cleaner or any kind of mailers or my webcam or my thermal printers that I do use sometimes, um, that's all linked down below. You guys can check it all out. You guys know where to see it. So appreciate everyone being here. Um, yep, I can save the chat now. Uh, please don't post my phone number if you have it. Uh, uh, I'm going to I'm going to 86 Lindy's uh, hashtag. <laughs> Appreciate everyone. Thank you so much. I'm going to go get some work done. You guys go do the same thing and we'll get back together on Thursday night. That's 9 p.m. Thursday night, Eastern Standard Time, right here, same place with the same chat. I'll move it over to the other side of the screen. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much. Amazon seller. Appreciate that. Um, and I'm going to do my uh, hashtag FML and hashtag I hate listing. Those are my hashtags for the night. So <laughs> thanks everyone. I'll see you guys next time. I appreciate it. And uh, leave some comments down below if you have questions I didn't get to. Bye guys.